Dear friends thank you for subscribing my channel, if you new to channel please watch video and gain about our religious versatility in the form of Indian temples. Vijaya Vitala Temple, Hampi, an architectural wonder. Raji Mude 5 years ago. Vitala Temple, Anagondi, Hampi. The Vitala Temple or Vitala Temple in Hampi is an ancient monument that is well known for its exceptional architecture and unmatched craftsmanship. It is considered to be one of the largest and the most famous structure in Hampi. The temple is located in the northeastern part of Hampi, near the banks of the Tungabhadra River. The iconic temple has amazing stone structures such as the incomparable stone chariot and the fascinating musical pillars. This predominant monument of Hampi is a major attraction of the ruined town and is a must-see for visitors and tourists. Timing, 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. on all days of the week. Entry fee, no entry fee required. Visit duration, about 3 hours best time to visit, from November to February. History of Vitala Temple, Hampi. The renowned Vitala Temple dates back to the 15th century. It was built during the reign of King Deva II, 1422 to 1446 A.D one of the rulers of the Vijayanagara Empire. Several portions of the temple were expanded and enhanced during the reign of Krishna Devaraya, 1509-1529 AD, the most famous ruler of the Vijayanagara dynasty. He played a significant role in giving the monument its present look. The Vitala Temple is also known as Sri Vijaya Vitala Temple. It is dedicated to Lord Vitala, an incarnation of Lord Vishnu. An idol of Vitala Vishnu was enshrined in the temple. Legend is it that the temple was built as an abode for Lord Vishnu in his Vitala form. However, the Lord had found a temple to be too grand for his use and had returned to live in his own humble home. Splendid architecture of Vitala Temple, Hampi. The Vitala Temple is presumed to be the grandest of all temples and monuments in Hampi. The temple exemplifies the immense creativity and architectural excellence possessed by the sculptors and artisans of the Vijayanagara era. The Vitala Temple is built in the Dravidian style of architecture. It has traits and features that are characteristic of typical South Indian temple architecture. Its elaborate and artistic carvings and magnificent architecture is unmatched by any other structure found in Hampi. It is believed that the main shrine of the temple originally had one enclosed mantapa. An open mantapa was added to it in the year 1554 AD. The temple complex is a sprawling area that is surrounded by high compound walls and three towering gateways. The temple complex has many halls, shrines and pavilions located inside it. Each of these structures is made of stone and each structure is a beauty in itself. Notable among these structures are the Shrine of the Goddess, also known as Devi Shrine, Mahamantapa or Main Hall, also known as Sabamantapa or Congregation Hall, Ranga Mantapa, Kalyana Mantapa, Marriage Hall, Uzava Mantapa, Festival Hall, and the famous Stone Chariot. Main Attractions of Vitala Temple, Hampi The Vitala Temple is regarded as the most ornate of the Vijayanagara temples. The temple comprises of several attractions that makes it a must-visit structure for tourists. In fact it is the most visited monument in Hampi and as such, it is also the most photographed monument in Hampi. Among the main attractions of the Vitala Temple are Mahamantapa, the Mahamantapa or main hall of the Vitala Temple is situated in the inner courtyard of the temple complex. It is a structure of immense beauty and is situated on a highly ornate base. The base is decorated with carvings of warriors, horses, swans and several other ornamental designs. The Mahamantapa comprises of four smaller halls. The steps on the eastern side of the Mahamantapa are decorated with elephant balustrade. There are 40 pillars lining the facade of the temple. Each of these pillars has a height of 10 feet. The central part of the Mahamantapa has 16 intricately decorated pillars having beautiful sculptures of Narasimha and Yali. These set of 16 pillars forms a rectangular court. The ceiling of the Mahamantapa is a richly designed structure. The beautifully sculpted ornate pillars of the Mahamantapa exemplify the splendor of this magnificent temple. Stone Chariot, the Vitala Temple Complex has the richly sculpted stone chariot, which is considered to be the most stunning architecture of the Vijayanagara Kingdom. The stone chariot or rather stands in the courtyard of temple. It is one of the three famous stone chariots in India. 
The other two chariots are situated in Konark, Odisha, and Mahabalipuram, Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu. The stone chariot of Vitala Temple is actually a shrine that has been designed in the shape of an ornamental chariot. The shrine is dedicated to Garuda and had an image of Garuda enshrined into the sanctum. As per Hindu mythology, Garuda is the carrier of Lord Vishnu. The musical pillars of the Ranga Mantapa. The Ranga Mantapa is one of the main attractions of the Vitala Temple. The large Mantapa is renowned for its 56 musical pillars. These musical pillars are also known as Sarigama pillars, indicating Indicating the musical notes emitted by them. The musical notes and emanated when the pillars are tapped gently. There are a set of main pillars and several sets of minor pillars inside the mantapa. Each main pillar provides support to the ceiling of the Ranga mantapa. The main pillars are designed as musical instruments. Every main pillar is surrounded by seven minor pillars. These seven pillars emit seven different musical notes from the representative musical instruments. The notes emanating from these pillars vary in sound quality depending on whether the instrument is a percussion, string or wind instrument. Interesting facts about the musical pillars of Vitala Temple, Humpy the cluster of musical pillars inside the Vitala Temple complex was carved out of huge single pieces of resonant stone. The emission of musical notes from stone pillars was a mystery that fascinated many people down the centuries. Even the British rulers of India were wonderstruck and wanted to discover the secret behind the musical pillars. To satisfy their curiosity and to unravel the mystery behind the amazing pillars as they cut two of the musical pillars of Vitala Temple to check whether anything existed inside the stone pillars that resulted in the emission of musical notes. However, they found nothing inside the pillars. The two pillars cut by the British rulers still exist inside the temple complex and can be seen by visitors even today. Present condition of Vitala Temple, Humpy. The Vitala Temple is in a partially ruined. The Sanctum Sanctorum of the temple once contained an idol of Lord Vitala. However, now the Sanctum is devoid of any idol. The central western hall of the temple was ruined long ago during the attack of the Mughals that led to the downfall of the Vijayanagara Empire in 1565 AD. The wheels of the chariot were once functional and could be rotated by the people. But some years ago the government cemented the wheels in order to avoid causing damage to them any further. Even tapping the musical pillars to emit musical notes is prohibited, as tapping over the years have caused some damage to the musical pillars of the Ranga Mantapa. Even the road leading to the temple is in a completely ruined state. The road was once the location of a thriving marketplace. The market was known as the Vitala Bazaar and was famous for horse trading. The ruins of the market can be seen on both sides of the road. There are carvings inside the temple that represent images of foreigners trading horses. Today the temple has floodlights installed inside the temple complex. The lights illuminate the Vitala temple complex at night and offer a majestic view of the beautiful structure against the dark night sky. The annual Purandra Dasa festival is held at the temple complex. How to reach Vitala temple? The Vitala temple in Hampi is situated at the end of the ruined Vitala Bazaar. The place can be easily reached by vehicles from all parts of Hampi. By air. Hampi cannot be reached directly by flight as the ruined town has no airport of its own. Balari, Ballari, is the closest town to have an airport. Ballari is situated at a distance of around 64 kilometers from Hampi. Visitors can reach Balari by taking a flight and then proceed to Hampi by means of local transport. By rail. Hampi does not have a railway station. The nearest railway station can be found in the city of Hosapit, Hospet. The Hospet Junction railway station is connected to several other towns and cities of Karnataka by means of regular trains. Hosapit is situated at a distance of around 10 km from Hampi. One of the easiest ways to reach Hampi from Hosapit is to board a bus. There are a few other means of local transport also to reach Hampi from Hosapit. By road. Hampi has a good road network and is connected to many towns and cities in Karnataka by this network. There are a lot of government and private buses that travel between Hampi and several towns and cities in the state. Visitors can also hire private cars, cabs or other vehicles from big cities like Bengaluru, Bangalore, or Mysuru, Mysuru, to travel to Hampi. Thank you friends hope you like the video, please share with others and subscribe Nature with Nesh.